meet Corey Ballard, who turned a backyard holiday tradition into a thriving career. He's part of a local group that meets every Thursday night to play cornhole. Not familiar with the sport? Not many were until the pandemic brought it front and center. During COVID, it was a big time for cornhole. Um, sports was canceled, events were canceled. The only live sports on for a four month period, there was cornhole three days a week on ESPN. Um, so that is what really gave the ACL their huge takeoff. That was their, their trampoline. And that bounce is being felt far and wide across the sport. You know, we have a lot of people that have battled different Ill, Ill, ailments or illnesses, and there's a few pros that are 14, 15. We got one as young as 11. Male, female, they can still come out and still throw bags and not and have a good time with, with a good group of people. In Cornhole, the boards are 27 feet apart. Three points for a bag that goes through the hole, and one point if it lands on the board. First to 21 wins. But the math of turning pro isn't so simple. There are over 100,000 active players, but only 256 play professionally. And it's that dedication that eventually led Corey to quit his job. Whatever you guys are thinking as far as talent wise, if you guys think it's amazing, it's 10 times more than what you're thinking. Like, it's no joke. Um, the best in the world. But Corey's connection to the sport runs deeper than just tossing bags. My dad needed a kidney transplant. He just got it back in uh, back in April. But last year we had a uh, fundraiser tournament for him. Over 250 people showed up, raised over $15,000. Um, and that's just the Cornell community around here locally. Um, when somebody goes down, we all step up for each other. And stepping up is just one of Corey and Mark's objectives. Both hope to grow the game into his ultimate goal of becoming an Olympic sport. For Canyons News, I'm Sam Rabadi.